by special recording. General Mills, makers of Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions, and Cheerios, the oat cereal ready to eat, present The Lone Ranger. <laughs> horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a haughty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'll Silver. Away! And here's the Lone Ranger. A long time ago, a man fought an enormous animal bigger than an elephant. When I found the bones of that animal in the desert, I realized that size alone doesn't always win. That little man must have prepared himself to conquer the monster. He must have known, even in those days, that champions are made, not born. And that's still true today. Anyone hoping to become a champion needs lots of energy to sharpen his skills and to back those skills with power. Right, Lone Ranger. One of the big reasons champions choose Wheaties is for energy to help them get on their way. It's easy to see where that energy comes from when you know there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Friends, keep in mind this advice from the Lone Ranger. Champions are made, not born. Get on your way with Wheaties. Breakfast of Champions. <laughs> Lone Ranger and his Indian companion Tonto rode the trail through the hills near the town of Ledge Rock. The sun was setting, and they hoped to find a suitable campsite before it became too dark. As they rounded a bend, they heard the distant clanging of a farm bell. Tonto, that doesn't sound like the usual signal to the farmhands to come to supper. Something must be wrong. And look, Kimasabi, the red glow to the left. Look like glow of fire. Maybe we can help. Come on, Silver. Come on, At the farmhouse, men were frantically fighting the fire. Warm another bucket, Martin. Hurry up with the water. Oh, oh. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Here I am, Sam. What's up? Why, you and your hands are over here helping uh, fight the fire. Outlaws are running off with some of your cattle. It what? It's true, John. I saw them. About five of them. They were masked. And they were driving several heads from your north range. They started shooting at me, so I left in a hurry. When I stopped at your ranch house, your wife told me you were all over here. Hey, Slim, maybe they're the ones who started this fire just to get us away from the ranch. Yeah. As soon as we get the fire under control, we'll form a posse and go hunting for those wrestlers. Get busy, man. Come on. A short time later, one of the men excitedly called to Judd as he pointed toward the top of a ridge behind the farmhouse. Judd, look. Yes. A masked man and an Indian. They're heading this way. Well, some of you mountain come with me. We have gunned those two before they get away. Likely they came back to see what was going on. <laughs> the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode over the top of the ridge and started toward the burning farmhouse. He was hubby. Men mount horses right this way. I see them. Fire still isn't under control, I wonder. Out of the fire yet is return back and hurry. The masked man and Indian soon outdistanced their followers. They covered their tracks, and as darkness had fallen, 
finally stopped in a grove of cottonwood to make camp. Oh, Those men meant business, Toto. They must have noticed my mask and decided we were outlaws. Uh-huh. After we pitch camp, I'll disguise my features and we'll ride to town. We may get news of Frank Drew and his gang. Later that night, the Lone Ranger, disguised as a ranch hand, sat in the cafe with Tonto. They listened to the conversation around them. Well, place is the second one to be set on fire this week. Yeah, and something happened each time. Yeah. That's right. The first time a house on the edge of town burned. While we were helping fight the fire, the bank was robbed. Sure. This time a gang of outlaws ran off some of Judge Jenkins' cattle. While you were all at the Wells Fire. And two of the gang had the nerve to come snooping around the scene of the fire. Yeah, I saw them. One was masked and the other was a redskin. We chased them, but they gave us a slip. Everybody in the territory is up in arms about what's going on. Nobody knows where the gang was fighting. Right. We've got to do something, boy. There's the answer to what happened, Otto. Ah. Maybe an outlaw gang we come to capture, Kim Masabi. I thought of that, too. We are right over near the Jenkins place. We've got to find the gang's trail. All right, let's go. Uh-huh. Frank Drew, outlaw leader, talked to his men in a vacant farmhouse not far from Judd Jenkins' place. Well, starting fires to attract attention has worked out so far, our men. Yeah, sure has, <laughs> boss. As soon as the excitement dies down, I have an even bigger deal in mind. Yeah, why? We'll start a fire on the ridge near the North Range. That'll bring everybody from town and from miles around to fight it. We'll move in and clean out the town. We'll hit the express office, the hotel, and the cafe. Uh, That'll be risky. Might finally trail us here. We won't come back here. Tonight we'll use a running iron to change the brand on the Jenkins cattle we stole. And we'll drive them over to Hillcrest and sell them tomorrow. We'll head north with plenty of cash if everything works out right. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode toward the North Range, hoping to find the trail of the gang. But the moon went behind the clouds. It was too dark for them to see, so they returned to their camp. For several days they searched, but were unable to trail the outlaws who had cleverly covered their tracks. On the third day, as the Lone Ranger and Tonto rounded a bend in the trail, they saw a group of horsemen approaching. You must hurry. Them look like men who chase us other evening. Turn into the woods, Tonto, quick. Move through there. Hey, Jimmy, those were the same two who gave us a slip when we chased them from Wells Place. We better get after them. Yeah. But I want one of you men to ride to town and get the sheriff. Tell him we spotted those owl hoots again. And ask them to come with a posse. We'll search the hills for those crooks till we find them. I'll go for the sheriff. Get up here. Well, let's trail the masked men and the Indian. Come on. Get up here. Once more, the Lone Ranger and Tonto outdistanced their followers and covered their trail. They finally stopped on a bluff overlooking the North Range. Oh, oh, oh. From their position, they could see the ridge beyond. Kimosabe, we see heavy smoke along ridge. Yes, and I see flames leaping up. The timber is dry, and that fire will spread. <laughs> Others had seen the fire on the ridge too. Judd Jenkins and his men were searching for the trail of a masked man and Indian when one of the men called out, "Judd, Judd, look over the ridge. There's a forest fire." Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Cindy, if the wind turns, that fire will burn out my place and threaten the whole town. What's more, they'll spread to the range grass and stampede my cattle. Yeah, that's right, will. We'll get as many others as we can. Then we'll head over there and try to stop that fire before it's too late. Get up there. Yeah. Yeah. Judd sent men in every direction to warn the ranchers in the territory and sent one man to town to get help. Soon, every available man in Ledge Rock was heading for the burning ridge. They went by buckboard, wagon, and on horseback. It'll take every man around here to stop that fire. Yes, but it has to be stopped. From a wooded grove at the edge of town, Frank Drew and his four followers watched the exodus of the townsmen. (laughs) Our plan is sure working, fellas. 
Looks like everybody in town is heading for the ridge. I saw the sheriff and the posse riots in town just a while ago, too. Yeah, this is going to be easy. We'll get plenty of loot this time. All right, hit leather, let's go. Get it back. Come on. Come on. The crooks rode into town and first stopped to rob the express office. Next, the crooks entered the hotel and held up the desk clerk, taking the contents of the safe there. Then they went to the cafe and successfully carried through another robbery. As they rode from town, the barkeep ran to the hitch rack in front of the cafe, mounted a horse, and rode hurriedly toward the ridge to report. Get up, Get there! Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached the blazing area on the ridge. Hold over. Hold easy. Fire is great headway, Tonto. Oh, uh, it's plenty bad. The wind is blowing it toward the Jenkins Ranch. That's right. We're we'll right back that way. I'm going to start a backfire. That's the only way to stop it. Let's go. One, two, three. The masked man and Indian rode down along the ridge at a fast pace. Near the end of the ridge, they came face to face with Judd Jenkins and his men. Hold over. Hold Reach, boss, Reach, quick. We came to help fight the fire. That's your lay. You most likely started it. Oh, I right. got him. We can't waste time arguing. Oh, wait. We're not outlaws. We say you are. Don't try to talk your way out of it. You can come with me in if we we'll take your gun. I say gun him, Judd. We haven't time to fool him. That's all. Right. Ranger and Tato tensed. They were ready to fight for their lives, but they knew they'd have little chance against so many. Watch them close, men. I'll take their guns. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. This is Mel Allen, sports announcer, and I've been in this business long enough to know that champions are made, not born. Isn't that the way it should be? It gives every youngster a chance. Take Betty Shallow, figure skating beauty with the famous Shipstads and Johnson Ice Follies. Why, she was learning to cut figure eights years ago. Been eating Wheaties since she was only chin high to her breakfast bowl. Twenty years ago, that was. Or Otto Graham of the Cleveland Browns, who can thread a needle with a forward pass. Otto made himself a champion, practiced hours every chance he had, and been really going for that Wheaties breakfast for 23 seasons. There's so doggone much honest energy packed into Wheaties. Nothing you pick at and push aside, for Wheaties are downright goblin good. Let me say again what champions know. There's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties plate. And don't you lose track of this fact for a minute. Champions are made, not born. Get on your way with Wheaties, breakfast of champions. to continue. The Lone Ranger and Tonto faced a hostile and determined group of men. They knew that as soon as Sam took their guns, the others would open fire. As Sam started toward them, the arrival of a new group of horsemen interrupted the proceedings. What's going on here? Why aren't you all fighting the fire? Sheriff, you arrived just in time. We caught the two outlaws who started that fire. They were seen near the Wells place the other night. Yeah, the two of the gang. They're wrong, Sheriff. These men wouldn't give me a chance to explain. Sam and the others were going to drill them. None of that while I'm sheriff. Now, mister, you said something about a chance to explain. If you can, go ahead. We have a little time. Well, this letter from the governor will explain enough. Yeah. 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 By golly, you men almost made a mighty bad mistake. Yeah. This masked man in Indian helped the law. This letter signed by the governor vouches for him. I've heard of him before, too. How do you know he can be trusted? Yeah, he might have stole that letter. Oh, now, wait a minute. This letter describes him and his horse and says he carries silver bullets. Here, Sheriff, look at this bullet. By thunder, it's silver, all right. Oh, what's that got I tell you there, friends. You can take my word for it. Then what are they doing here? Yeah, what about this? We came here to start a backfire. That's the only way to stop that ridge fire. Say, that's right. Yeah, this is the only way. I reckon the sheriff's right about it. Well, there's no time to lose. We better start it right away. Easy, steady, big fellow. Hurry, men. 
Follow the mash man. Get to work on that back fire. <laughs> Soon the backfire had been started and roared to meet the oncoming flames. Yeah, that'll do it. Lucky I came along when I did. You might have kept the mash man from helping you. If it's red. Oh, by the way, Sheriff, did it occur to you that this fire may have been set for the outlaw gang as a cover up for another robbery? By thunder, you may be right. During the last two fires, something happened. And this ridge fire will bring most every man from town. There are many of them crossing the range down there right now. I suggest we take some men and go back to town in case the gang does strike. It's a good idea. The rest of them can keep tabs on the ridge fire. Let's mount and head for town, men. Right. We'll ride with you. Can you be On the way back to town, a group of horsemen saw a rider approaching at top speed. Someone coming this way. Who's it? Who's it? The outlaw gang, five of them, robbed the cafe in town, and they headed out the North Trail. I shut it all. That's not all. I heard one of them say they'd robbed the express office and the hotel, too. No, doggone it. They started that fire so they could clean out the town as soon as everybody headed for the ridge. Let's hurry, men. Well, we know a shortcut to the North Trail, Sheriff. If we take it, we should be able to pick up their tracks without going through town. That's what we'll do. You lead the way. Right. Montilla! Yes, yeah. The Lone Ranger and Toto, with the sheriff and his men, took the shortcut to the North Trail. There, they followed the tracks of the five horses ridden by the outlaws. Finally, they came to the point where the hoof marks entered the shallow water along the shore of the river. I knew it. They've always been smart enough to cover their trail and throw us off. I suggest we divide our forces, Sheriff. Half ride with me along this shore. The rest go with Toto to the other side. That way, we may be able to pick up the trail again. Mister, that's a good idea. But if they doubled back, we'd be wasting our time. It seems logical to me that they'd go on to the New Mexico border, Sheriff. If they doubled back now, they'd reach Ledge Rock about the time every man in town is out searching for them. Ah, that makes sense. We'll follow your plan, mister. Now split up, boys. After you go with Tonto, and the rest come with me and the mass man. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> The posse divided and followed each bank of the river northward. Finally, the Lone Ranger called a halt. Oh, 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 oh. Now, what are we stopping for, mister? I don't see anything here to indicate they left the river. Now look closely. See those marks on the rocky surface? Mm-hmm. I believe they were recently made by horseshoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I see them. I wouldn't have figured what they are. So you think they left the river at this point? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Sure. If we look around, I'm certain we'll find their tracks on the soft ground beyond this rocky surface. Come on, Silver. Yes, sir. Come on, Silver. A short time later, the tracks were found. The others were signaled to rejoin the sheriff and the masked man. Then the entire posse set out to follow the newly found tracks of the gang. Come on, Silver. Yes, sir. Come on. Later, in a deserted prospector's cabin, Frank and his gun slick settled down for a few hours' rest. Hey, Frank, uh, think we ought to have someone go up and scan guard? Yeah, no reason for that. We're safe enough. I figure it's taken them until about now to get that fire under control. Nobody will learn of the robberies till the townsmen go home. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that sheriff in Ledge Rock is too dumb to outsmart me. He's been running in circles for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Frank, you sure know how to cover tracks. Oh, say, how about getting the loot from the saddlebags and divvying up now, huh? That's what I'm looking forward to. Well, all right. Get it and put it on the table. All right. We'll each get enough to put us on easy street for a while. The Lone Ranger, Toto, and the posse had no further trouble following the gang's trail. Finally, they saw the shack. Look, horses tied behind that shack. It may mean the men we're following are there. Yeah. What do you figure is the best thing to do, mister? Leave our horses among the trees and go forward on foot. We'll have our guns ready and keep close watch in case they have a lookout. Good idea. Easy, city. Easy, fellow. Tottle and I will go on ahead to make sure the gang's in the shack. You and the men follow, Sheriff. 
You circle the building when you get there. Right. All right, come on, Toto. Uh-huh. The crooks were gathered around the table where Frank was piling the cash in separate bundles. Suddenly... Reese, don't move. You're all covered. Hey, look, a mess, man. Indians with him. Oh, you two old hoots think you're going to grab our cash, is that it? Well, nobody outsmarts Frank Drew, mister. Just remember that. Frank Drew, huh? We've been looking for you and your gang. Well, you found us. Now you better ease on out of here while you're still in one piece. I draw, man. Give him lead. Don't draw. Oh, I'm hit. Got him. The other four men went for their guns. The Lone Ranger and Tuttle fired simultaneously. At the same time, the sheriff and his men appeared at the windows. We got you covered from the window, too. Yep. You two might as well forget your guns. Masked man and Indian brought a gang with them. Yeah, got their guns, Tuttle. Uh, Tuttle quickly took the crook's guns. Then the sheriff and his men came inside the shack. Hey, Frank, look. That's no outlaw gang. It's the sheriff and his men. Huh? What are they doing with a masked man and an Indian? You'll soon learn the answer to that one, Drew. Uh, here's the loot from the three robberies here on the table. That's right, Sheriff, and I'm sure they'll admit they set those fires. They'll do plenty of talking. Don't worry, mister. We'll bandage their wounds and take them back to Ledge Rock. They'll have a lot of time to think in jail. Hey, those are the men we were hunting, Sheriff. Now that you have them in custody, Tonto and I will continue on to Pecos, unless you need our help. Mister, without the help you already gave, we wouldn't have caught them. We can handle them from now on. In that case, we'll say adios, everybody. Adios. We'll see you again, Sheriff. Come on, Donald. Hey, Frank, I don't get this. How come that masked man rode with a posse, then walks out as calm as you please? Doggone if I know. He even said he and the Indian were looking for me and my gang. Well, maybe it's about time you found out, Drew, that you aren't as smart as you thought. That masked man and his Indian friend work with the law to capture low-down crooks like you and your gunmen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does he ride a big white stallion? Does the Indian ride a paint? Yep. I should have known when I first saw him. You should have known what, Frank? Who is he? Why, you fool, you must have heard of him. That hombre is none other than the Lone Ranger. I don't see. The kids all shout, you can't strike that slugger out. He gets the hit because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 Everybody loves Cheerios. So delicious because it's made from toasted oats, all ready to eat with milk. And the go power it gives you. You see, each spoonful of Cheerios and milk is packed with vitamins, proteins, and minerals. The very things your body needs for healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. Yes, Cheerios is real muscle-building food. Have Cheerios every morning. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. <laughs> a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. The Lone Ranger is brought to you by General Mills every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time. Be sure to listen. This recorded program has come to you from Detroit. This is ABC Radio Network.